We're underneath the 2008 F250, which has developed a bump steer condition. Boy, when you hit a bump, the steering wheel kind of veers out of control sometimes and wants to go back and forth. Last week we replaced the driver's side wheel bearing and hub assembly because that was really loose. When we got done with it, we still have the bump steer issue. We inspected the tie rod ends and the drag link and the uh, pitman arm up here. And we, we did not take apart the stabilizer yet. The stabilizer usually just masks the problem. So even if we replace the stabilizer, it's going to just be a band-aid effect until we find what's really causing the problem. In this case, we found over on the passenger side, here we are, here. here's the steering knuckle, we found the tie rod end and the pitman arm connector cross link here were both loose. Mostly it's a tie rod end that's loose, but if you're going to replace that, you should go ahead and replace the upper end here too. And these are not super hard to change. You've got one cotter pin and castle nut here that holds this on. You've got an adjuster clamp here that holds this threaded end on. And the same thing down here. You've got a retainer clamp and a threaded rod that goes into oops, that goes into this bracket right here. But once you take this loose, you're supposed to be able to unscrew it. A lot of times it gets stuck and you'll have to get a hold of the edge of this plastic thread cover and knock it backwards a little bit. There's also a little retainer clip behind here you need to pop off once you get this big clamp off. So we're going to go ahead and start on that project. So the, really the only thing we have to unbolt are the two bolts on this bracket here. This bolt up here on front, and then the castle nut down here, once we've removed the cutter key, and the cutter key is actually loose in there, so that's going to come right out. Hopefully the tie rod end will drop right off too. I recommend replacing the whole pitman arm connector rod while you're doing this. That way you don't have to worry about unthreading the end piece and getting everything pulled out correctly. You can replace just two extra bolts or nuts here to pop this whole arm off and take it right down loose underneath the truck and do it on a workbench. It'll be so much easier to finish the disassembly and do the reassembly that way. Up there, you could replace the tie rod end on the driver's side as well. Once you get these parts all done, have your alignment taken care of, your Bump steer should be gone. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.